Hi y'all, it's me. I am back with part two of the Spring Fling get together with the girls in Sacramento. And as I explained before, we're having a get together this month on the 22nd, but I'm not showing the video until after because I want it to be a surprise for them. And so now I'm gonna show you the third item that we had to bring was a goodie bag for everyone. Now mind you, I've made, I, I've made 12. <laughs> I made 12 of these. Okay, you could see all of it here. I, there's, I mean, there's more on my table, obviously, but they're all ready to go. I, Like I said, I got this done like the second week. So <laughs> anyway, let me dive in and show you what I've created because it's a lot of handmade. So this is the bag, and I was so excited when Hobby Lobby put these um, spring colored bags on sale. I just knew I was going to use them. I normally do felt bags, but this time I wanted it to be something different. So I came up with this idea of getting these bags and I only decorated the front. I didn't bother with the back, but I think it's so adorable. So let me see, where do I start? Okay, let's start with this. This wood piece right here is um, from Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you something in a moment, but um, I glued on some, rick, I painted it first, and then I glued on some rickrack. Um, I made the little scallop thing, I glued on diamond dots, put the initial of the recipient, and added some little handmade flowers there, tied it on with some baker's twine. Now, really quickly, just to give you an idea for you who buy these and don't know what to do with them, it's this piece, it came in a pack with a whole bunch of them, I think it was a garland. And I wanted to paint on it, and I knew I wanted polka dots, and I didn't exactly know. See, there's polka dots on the back, too. I did the back. Um, I didn't know how to do it since I didn't have a stencil. So all I did was I got a piece of acetate. Um, let me see here. Hold on. I got this piece of acetate, and I used my hole punch to punch holes where I wanted them. I traced this design onto the acetate so that it would fit onto where I wanted it, like that. And that's how I was able to um, do the polka dots on there. So just an idea for you if you have a bunch of these and don't know what to do with them. So that was that part. Um, over here, you're looking at a button that Bona created for me. Um, Bona is Live Love Scrap here on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. And she makes these buttons and she's done them for me for our get-togethers in the past. So I wanted another one for this year. And it reads PHA, which is, you know, the group we have, NorCal Meetup, um, Spring Fling, Patrice 2023. And I use Garden Party as my um, paper with everything that you've seen in the previous and now this. So I took one of the um, images and sent it to Bona and she was able to include it onto the button for me. And she had them packaged in these cute packages, so I just left it, um, and I put it on with a garment pin. Underneath here, you can see I've added some ruffle and with uh, crepe paper, and I put some bling down the middle. Moving on, I went down here, and I added a doily, a bunch of ephemera. This is from KB and Friends. I used a lot of their stuff. You're going to see that in a moment. And a banner die that I have with bling gold thread, dingle balls, there's just so much. And then at the bottom, I have that gold, again, to mimic what's on the top. And as I said, there are so many. They're all different colors. There's different colors, trims with different color, everything. So that's what's here as far as that goes. Now let's dive in and see what I've created. And I just hope you guys love everything i had so much fun and i'm going to show you how it's packaged too because you know that's part of it but i will show you what's in them so this is the um i think there's something missing yes right here that's what's in the bags that they're getting all of this right here so let's start with this one and i'll move these off to the side so that you can see what's in this one so I saw a tutorial, and when I saw this, I just knew it was something I wanted to create. So I went ahead and made a whole bunch of them. And basically, um, oh, and I made these little tags here that read PHA 2023 Spring Fling Made with Love by Gina, a.k.a. Scrapanology. And that's on the glitter paper you can print on from um, my, uh, Walmart. 
So that's what I used. So anyway, what is this, you ask? <laughs> well, all you do is you simply open it up and you start pressing down these pieces here, like that. And it makes like a desk organizer or pencil holder, whatever you want to refer to it. And they can keep it on their desk like this. And then you can put your pencils and it really does hold. It's very sturdy. I was surprised. That's why I tested it before I decided to... To, you know make a whole bunch of them but um, I added the paper here I did the little um, cut out there's a little ticket in the back I did some twine and a little doily and added the pom-pom and I think that came out so so cute and I think they'll love these they can actually use them while we're at the um, get-together and then for the top here all I did was I made a bow using the garden party and I cut this with a die that I own so that's one of the items um, the next item is this and I got these bags at Daiso I thought they were perfect for this so um, and this ribbon I just hauled from um, Timu so let's see what's in here I made these little goodie bags for them hold on a moment it's got to pull it out so I don't tear the goodie bag here we go. So I made these cute little pouches. Um, I sort of used Erica Scrap Diva's die, but I didn't. I only used it for the side. And anyway, um, I decided to make this. I sewed all these pieces. I layered up some parts from the collection. I did a little bow here and a little butterfly here. I did reinforcers. Um, there's a die back here that I used for the gold part. And... Um, I did the paper on the back as well and on the bottom it has my tag again there and the, the decorations and in here uh, <laughs> I made um, this is our little goodie treats that I'm giving everybody so there's a ring pop there's a granola bar some crackers a Milky Way a Snickers and some M&Ms and then I have some shred down there in the bottom so that's the one uh, goodie bag thingy they're getting. I'm going to push that one off and I'll show you the next thing. So this one's going to come in this packaging. Uh, this is a die I used and I layered up some elements from the collection here. Put some gold thread under there to kind of tie in with everything else. And then I created these boxes for everyone. And I have, um, hold on, I have Patrice's name on here because there's a reason. <laughs> um, anyway, these open up. You can see I sewed all the panels did all the way around even the bottom I did a lot a lot a lot of work <laughs> a lot of sewing um, so inside they're each going to get um, a little bag of beads and a thing to make a dangle and the reason I had Patrice's name on there was because there's a P for her initial so she can add it to her dangle so I put a lot of little beads and all the findings that they're going to need to create a dangle I used washi tape and a little element from the collection I used a lot of digitals on this so um, that's how I was able to make so many because I had to make you know 12 of these um, and I did the same here that's a digital and um, I used a punch and flowers and ribbon and just raised it up on some foam tape so the next thing I'm giving them is a tiny sequin mix of spring stuff it's got little flowers in there see there and just pretty colors and then I put a little bow with a little gem in the middle and I did some papering on the top just to decorate it. I thought that was super cute. And then the last thing that's in this particular one is this die that I bought for everyone. It's a star shaker. It is so cute. And the minute I saw it, I knew I had to get them for everybody. So I did. Um, there's a bow on top from a a die that I have I just cut it at the edge so that it would make a bag topper and I put a little gem in the middle so that's what's in there and that's what they're getting in this box and then it's got shred down in there I had to repackage this for Patrice <laughs> and then they're using hers as the example last and this was the most work I must say it's coming in this bag right here and oh, I love these okay this is what I've created for the girls. And again, a labor of love, a lot of stitching, a lot of fussy cutting, and I'll explain. But let's look at this first. This is made with a file folder. 
as you can see here it's got gussets and it's really cute um, I have a doily in the background on top of the paper I've made a ruffle that I've sewn here uh, I have I don't know what do I have in here can't tell <laughs> I got some um, this is from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby um, I made rosettes and I added doilies and then this is a KB and friends cutout that I've applied here and I took some of the elements of the digital image and I raised them up so it would give her a little bit of dimension I don't know how well that's showing but I wanted her to have a little bit of dimension the word celebrate spring and there's some pearls there oh my gosh this is so cute now before I go on to show you the inside I'll just show you the different varieties because they all have a, um, different images um, there's four images that I use this one is the zebra and it's raised up as there on the hat and I even cut the little flower and raised it um, and this is um, I even glossy accented their eyes even the little rabbit <laughs> so that's that one um, here's the lamb this is another version and then this is the other version it's the dog and I raised up his camera his bow and his little bird and fussy cut a lot there's pom-poms on here too I didn't mention but anyhow let's look inside and see what's in here so I have it held with velcro and I used two dots and I sewed everything <laughs> and I mean everything um, in this pocket is a fussy cut image with some uh, rickrack so what I did was I took one of the collections of KB and friends and I cut fussy cut every single piece by hand even though I have a scan and cut but I didn't want to run into images with the scan and cut not recognizing lines and all that so I went ahead and fussy cut everything you're about to see within this whole entire booklet times 12 <laughs> I know it was a lot but I don't mind here's the inside part it is so cute um, again I've used some of the images here on the flaps just for this particular part um, and when you open these flaps up there's two little pockets with tags and I button put a button on those I even sewed the pocket and everything um, there's the little tag and I have one on this side with a little button as well and these are all the now this is what I'm telling you when I say I fussy cut I fussy cut everything every piece that comes in here is done by hand so I hope they appreciate that it was a lot of work <laughs> and times 12 was even more work um, I used some gold um, trim here just to enhance the pocket and then over on this side you have another pocket and again there's a lot of fussy cut pieces from the collection I'm holding it down because I can't do this showing it up but anyway there's a lot of parts there to it and this one I did a little ribbon treatment there and then when you close this up and you turn it over you will see I have embellished with this trim uh, my stickers there I sewed again and I fussy cut all those little pieces for them and that my friends is my <laughs> my stuff that I created for all my friends I hope I hope that they love everything and appreciate as crafters we all know what work is involved creating you know all of these goodies so I certainly hope that they appreciate and love everything because I had a blast I mean I was sitting here thinking what more can I make what more could I make because I got done so early <laughs> and I wanted to make more stuff but I thought no I gotta stop this gotta stop <laughs> so anyway thank you ladies for watching and gentlemen and thank you to all my girlfriends in Sacramento we had a great time I got to meet new friends I'm sure I'm gonna have a blast I can't wait and so until next time y'all do what makes you happy bye for now